it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is Punched Out Thursday to Die For and I'm going to be using those dies you see right there. They're dog dies. I'm going to be doing a dog layout. So what I'm doing is um, I purchased these at this little kit here um, of die cuts with stamps um, at Tuesday morning. They had Jelly Bean Soup and that is the brand that they are. So I don't know, you might be able to find them still because I have seen quite a few of Jelly Bean Soup at Tuesday morning lately. And they just started putting these out. So what I did is I'm gonna stamp them first and I used a um, sapphire, chip sapphire for the house, the dog house. And then the dog I did first in brown, but I go back and I end up outlining him in black instead. And I'm doing these little paws and little bones as well. I don't end up using the bones. I do end up using the little paw prints. Um, and you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. So those are the ones that I used. I went back and did the dog in a different color. Now I also had the word wolf that you could die cut out as well. So I did duck die cut that as well. Um, and those are the little bones, which they're super cute, but I didn't end up using them. So now that house that you see right there, the dog house, that's the first one I did. I painted it, it looks super cute, but I ended up not using it because the red wasn't quite the right red color for my papers. So I went and I started outlining and doing my dog and my dog, the puppy um, that I am, it's our brand new puppy that I'm scrapbooking. So, and her name is Luna. And she's a brown, um, and she is, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think. Ah, sorry guys. She is a Cocker Spaniel, an English Cocker Spaniel. She's a short-haired Cocker Spaniel. So, um, she's only four months old, and she's absolutely adorable. So, I'm coloring in brown just like her, and then I wanted her face to be able to be seen, so I used... Um, one of my water markers that just has water in it to kind of um, put a little bit lighter brown on the face so you could still see the eyes and everything. So then I decided that I wanted to use my circle die cuts as well because I'm going to put a circle element on my layout as well. So I'm going to be using those. And those are the papers that I'm going to be using. Now this kit, this is a um, paper studio um, that I bought at Hobby Lobby, they have 50% off right now. And I bought the papers at Hobby Lobby dog papers because I don't have any dog papers. So um, these were super cute um, and I liked them. And they were 50% off, so you can't go wrong. But these papers are very flimsy. So, you know, I had to kind of build my layers and I'm using that cork board kind of looking paper as my background. So what I'm doing first is I'm just kind of layering. First, I backed my photo with a thin piece of um, white cardstock to kind of give it a rim around the edge of it. And now I'm going to use this blue navy paper. This was also in the pad that I purchased. And not pad, but kit. And um, I cut um, a square piece out, a rectangle piece out like that. And now I'm going to put it on top of this paper that has all kinds of little doggy sayings on it like bark wolf fetch all that kind of stuff and I'm going to put it on top of that and these I'm just kind of laterizing. you're not really going to see those words or anything I just kind of wanted them to go around the edge and I just kept building behind my photo so now what I am going to do is use this one and this one has little white paw prints on it. It's hard to tell on camera, but they are little white paw prints. And this red is like, see what I mean? The red is a kind of different kind of red. So I had to go in and color a new little doggy house um, that I cut out with my die cuts. And I ended up being able to find a really cool rod to use. So it worked out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this crooked. I want it to be crooked. I don't want it to be straight. I really don't like things being straight on my layouts. I like to do different things. So I'm going to go in with this Tim Holtz um, stencil and I love this stencil. And I decided to do 
two white edges to go around my whole piece that I just put together with the um, tape and everything that I taped together. And it's just white Vicky Booten um, modeling paste that I'm using. And I'm just putting it through the stencil and I'm going to do on each side. And what this is going to do is it's going to kind of brighten up the outside of my papers before I lay them down, um, stick them down on this background paper because this has nothing on it and it's kind of really kind of plain. And I still wanted to use it because it was perfect, but I wanted to add a little something extra to it. And this gave it a little bit more dimension and interest to the paper. So I really liked it. So then there were these little fire hydrant paper on there as well. And I wanted to make a strip also going across behind that huge um, papers that I just did, that I just taped together. <laughs> I can't talk, sorry guys. And um, now I'm going to tape it on top of the navy blue paper again, this piece here. And I'm gonna try and go around and like try and get most of the white out and just kind of have that navy blue sticking out. So it kind of pops up off the page like that. And that's how it's going to go, just like that. So now I also wanted to do something else. So I wanted a scallop piece. So what I did is I went in and I got out my little scallop punches that I have. Um, these are knockout punches. I got them at Tuesday morning, whoa, years ago. And I had this little piece that was the perfect color to go with the collection I was using. So I decided to punch this little scallop. And this one is like my favorite one out of all of those little scallops that you see on the right hand side. So I decided to use this one because it has a lot of detail to it. It's really hard to punch though, but I did do it. And that's what it's gonna look like. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little piece of that and I'm gonna stick it on one side going upward. And then on the other side, I'm gonna stick it upside down like that. And there you go. And there's my two little scallop pieces to kind of make it a little more decorative. So now my circle pieces are gonna go like that. And now I have all the stickers and stuff that I purchased at Tuesday morning. I just got them, not Tuesday morning, sorry. Hobby Lobby and Paper Studio is 50% off right now. So if you guys wanna check it out, I would definitely check it out. So look at my little doggy house, isn't it cute? I love the way it turned out. So I did like this one better. So um, I'm gonna use my little wolf, wolf, <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. I'm going, I'm saying wolf, I meant to say rough. <laughs> Sorry guys. And I'm um, gonna stick that circle piece behind like that. And um, I do pop everything up with some craft foam. Um, my pictures popped up on craft foam. I'm gonna pop up the little circles here with some craft foam. <laughs> And so I ended up going use quite a bit. I used the die cuts um, for most of the layout. Um, I didn't use the punches. I thought I was going to, but I didn't need to because the die cuts had everything that I was looking for. So this time I just used, oh wait, I did use the punch, the scallop punch. So I did use punches, see, yay. Um, <laughs> but see how the white um, really makes it stand out, and that's what I like. And I think it looks super cool. It gives it a, a really cool effect, so um, I really like it. I'm not used to doing dog layouts, um, but being that we just got the puppy, I wanted to do one. So, And I kind of like how this one turned out, so I might do some more. It's really hard to find dog paper, though. Super hard. Um, in the craft stores, anyways. I'm sure I could get some online if I look. So now I'm gonna put that one, pop that one up on top of that. And now I'm gonna do my little doggy house. So I pop that up by craft foam. I'm gonna pop up my little dog and I'm gonna stick them right there by the door of the doggy house. And then I have this thing that, the sticker thing that looks like a leash. And I decided to stick that right there next to him kind of coming out from the dog house. And then that little wolf, I love that. Now I was gonna look this, you got me at wolf, cause it's such a cute saying, but I don't end up using it. But I do end up using this 3D sticker called uh, Fur Baby. Now I bought a lot of these dog stickers, so I would have them, so I could do some dog layouts. 
and this little treat. I end up using it, but it ends up getting moved. I use the fire hydrant that stays. Um, the little doggy dish stays. And now that dog, that big dog that you see there with the paw print, that's going to stay on because that's going to be part of my title. So now I found these little tiny ones and I just stuck these in. It says sweet puppy. So I stuck that on there because she's only four months old. And her name is Luna. And we have two other dogs too. Um, I have six kids and three dogs. Are we crazy? Yes, we are. But this house is really lots of fun. So, so now I have these clear stickers, and it's I wanted it. I wanted my title to be "It's a Dog's Life," so they had the "It's" and they had "Ah" uh, and they had "Dog Life," but I have the dog already, so I wanted the dog to be big. So I thought it would be pretty cool if I just did the clear stickers like that, and then um, you know, glued those down, and that's what I did. So I made it look kind of really cool. I like it. And now they had this little dog tag and it had nothing on it. So I had these small black um, letters and I decided to stick it on there with her name, Luna. So it's her little dog tag I stuck on there. And now I'm just popping up my little paw prints that I die cut out. And they came out super cute. I really like them. I could have done some in brown too, but I stuck with the black, but I kind of like how they look like a dog's walking on the page. It's super cute. And I'm trying to think what else I do. Once I pop those up, oh, while I'm doing that, let me remind you guys um, to not forget to check out the other ladies who are also on Punched Out Thursday. And I will have all their links down below. So then I decided to stamp this little saying that says, I dig you. I thought that was cute. And now I'm just gluing down my little wolf. And I stuck on this little um, wooden chipboard piece um, that says you had me at, um, what does it say? You had me, I can't remember what it says. I'm sorry guys, and I can't even read it. Um, but I stuck that piece up there and then I had these little buttons that were doggies, so I stuck a dog there, and I stuck two little bones, um, one by the dog house and one by the dog there. And now I'm going to come in with a couple of my little enamel dots, and I had the perfect colors. This was the perfect red. It kind of went, so I stuck a few red ones down, and I stuck a couple black ones down. And I just did it in three different spots where I thought I wanted some and I think that's it. And then you see I got, if you look on the right hand side there, I got, oh yeah, I stuck this little wooden heart on there as well. And next I'm going to come in with some splatters. Because if you watch me, you know my channel, you know I love splattering. So um, I came in with some black splatters. I didn't do too much, just a little. Yeah, right. I get carried away with the splatters, guys. And if you watch my channel, you know I do. But I love splatters. I can't help it. So I did a few um, in a couple of the corners here. And just to give it a little more something. And I like splatters, so <laughs> I think it looks cute. And that's it. So that is the layout, guys. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, don't forget to check out the other ladies. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Please, please, please. I'm almost to that thousand, and I'm so excited about that. So, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So, I hope you guys like it. Here's your close-ups. I love how my little doghouse and doggy turned out. Super cute. And there's my little Luna. She is such a cutie. And I want to thank you as all for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.